like fine wine, we all get better with time, but your makeup routine may not age so gracefully. So luckily, Grace is here to show us some ageless makeup techniques to bring out our best features as we age, right, which is what we need. So we, uh, a lot of us get a little stuck. Um, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about what we need to start tweaking um, as we mature with our makeup. Well, I, I think, you know, as we start out in makeup in high school and college, university, we tend to stick to that kind of routine. Yes. And as we age, gravity is not our friend. Things right. start to droop a little, and uh, we need a little help. And yeah. we need to kind of revise maybe not the makeup we're using, but just placement mm -hmm. technique is also key. But as a makeup artist, I think it's really about creating illusions. Right. And you really want to uh, think about uplifting the face. Mm -hmm. And that's really what makeup is. It's creating yeah. these illusions that don't necessarily have to be there. And you can create a whole dramatic makeup. Yes. And a very different way in how you place it. I like that idea. I, I like the idea of looking at it as evolution, because uh, I think a lot of us look at aging as like, how do I not do it? You're going to do it. So let's do it in exactly. a way that makes us feel really good. Exactly. It's OK. So what you've done on one side of Laura's face is you've done the makeup the way we maybe were doing it when we were a little bit younger. And now we're going to recreate it for uh, when, we, when we grow up a little bit and we age a little bit. So let's focus first on the eyes. OK. So eyebrows, I think, is something that we tend to lose more eyebrow hairs as we age. Yeah. And microblading has been such a trend. Yes. I'm also, like, my brows are microbladed, but also we're, you know, products of the 90s where yes. we over plucked our brows <laughs> we and they never grew them. back. So um, one thing that I would suggest for women is when you are filling in your brows, because mm -hmm. I still recommend that when you have them microbladed, fill them in. Fill them in on the top. Mm -hmm. So it creates more an, a, of an illusion that it's really uplifting. Mm -hmm. And then on the tip of your eyebrow, what I would do is also create little small hairs. Mm -hmm. So again, it's more uplifting. If you have hair, brush it up. All right. Always think of brushing up and elongating your eyebrows so mm -hmm. they look a little more lifted. And if you need to kind of create that point, always just do it on the outer part of the eyebrow. That's so good. See, it's not crazy dramatic, but what it, you've just done it on the ups, on the outside and the top of it. And look at the difference between those two brows. Like one's just, lifting your eye up. Exactly. That one's lifting your eye up. That's very nice. You also get more of an eye space when you lift your brows. Yes. Up because that is the frame for your eye. Very nice. Okay. Okay. What about the eye itself? So I know we have been, you know, a product of rimming your eyes with black when we were younger. Yeah. And I think that's what made us look older when we were younger. That's right. And that's but, what we wanted. You <laughs> yeah, got to get exactly. into the club. Uh, now I feel like you need to go the opposite way. You really want to elongate the eyes upwards. Again, okay. so not necessarily dragging the eyeliner all the way in. You can kind of use like a brown or a light gray. Mm -hmm. I like to kind of work my way up and just create a tiny wing. And again, that makes the eyes look bigger, more open, it's more beautiful. almond shape. Yeah. Um, and then if you are going to line underneath the eye, mm -hmm. I would suggest using a brown instead of a black and going underneath the lash line mm -hmm. and also maybe just going three quarters of the way in. It's softer. It's softer. It makes your eyes look bigger. Yeah. You can also uh, rim your inner eye waterline with like a white or a cream to really make them pop. Mm -hmm. But again, you kind of see the difference of like one Huge. eye looking bigger and more open. Yes. Absolutely. That liner on the bottom, I stopped doing the liner on the bottom as well because like I, I feel like less is more now. As Thank we get you. older, less yes. is more. Like, and I want to show with... more of the realness. And it's actually more youthful when you show more of the realness rather than having a full mask. Preach. Right? Yes. OK. Yes. Let's um, talk about highlighters. OK, what highlighter. What do think about? So again, stick away from overly glitter, okay. frosted highlighter, which yeah. will make you look like a disco ball. But yeah. frosted shades also settle in the fine lines. So again, not yes. good, will age you. Mm -hmm. I would stick to something like more face oils or anything that's more dewy. It kind of gives that very, like, 
your glowing within kind of makeup, yes. opposed to looking like a disco ball. Yeah. Um, shading, also I think we've been taught to really contour underneath the cheekbone, and it's really like dragging her face down. Mm -hmm. And I also think applying the blush in the apples of the cheek also bring her face down. Yeah. Now if, again, when you're thinking about contouring and blush, you want to kind of like cheat it and work almost on top of your yeah. cheekbone. So yeah. you're going upwards and not bringing it downwards. My Does that goodness, make sense? My goodness, that's a difference, Grace. Holy moly. Right? One side looks like it's completely been lifted. And then even the blush, I'm sticking to more of a cream blush. Yeah. And again, I'm kind of placing it on top of the contour. Mm -hmm. But again, working my the sides of the face opposed mm -hmm. to dragging it all the way down. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, anything for the lips? Do we need to do anything differently for the lips? Yes. So again, we tend to lose a lot of collagen in our lips. They're getting smaller and They're smaller. They're getting smaller. So um, what I like to do is use like a lip liner and just focus on the out parts. You don't mm -hmm. even have to overly outline completely, mm -hmm. but just even doing like the outer part of the lip really helps create that like big pout. That's beautiful. So let's give her one last shot so we can see uh, we can see Laura with lots of makeup and Laura <laughs> with sort of age appropriate makeup. Uh, and I just think it's a beautiful. It's such good tips there, Grace. Thank, Thank you, you so much.